study is Western Cultural Expectations for Women, and I chose to study this um, subject because I'm a woman myself, and I was interested in seeing how the past, um, how past expectations of women have kind of evolved throughout the years, and so I found some pretty interesting things, so I hope you guys enjoy. So the two books that I decided to pick um, is Pride and Prejudice, which is set um, in from 1760 to 1820 about a poor, or sorry, excuse me, Jane Eyre about a poor person, and then Pride and Prejudice, which is about a richer woman, and it's set from 1797 to 1813. I chose different backgrounds of women because I thought, you know, there would be differences, and I wanted to, I was interested in what they would be. So Charlotte Bronte wrote about Jane Eyre, and I discovered that Women didn't really have a lot of job opportunities, and the only job opportunities that they really had was being like a teacher or a governess to um, richer people's children, and so that's what Jane Eyre's job was. Um, in Jane, in Pride and Prejudice, which is about a richer woman who's different, like their goals, their expectations were to find men, men and to go to extravagant balls and kind of present themselves to get married. Um, there were many similarities between these two books, and one of the biggest similarities I found was that women were expected to know, like, be kind of book learned, which was I was surprised because I didn't expect they were like supposed to like know stuff, and they're also expected to know a language and play an instrument. So I was kind of surprised, like all these things that they would actually were really allowed to do. Another thing that I noticed in both was that after like dining. Um, the men and women would separate, and the men would go and like smoke cigars and stuff like that, while all the women would just hang out in the parlor and talk amongst themselves. So, yeah, that was prevalent in both books. So, yeah, throughout this entire um, experience, I was very surprised to learn about all these things because, you know, I thought most women just did domestic housework, and this was the case for most of them, but they also had, like, these governess jobs, and they were expected to be, like, book read and no languages and all that stuff, so I was quite surprised. Um, so in terms of relying on men through marriage and family, like, that's, I already knew all that, um, but what I liked about both these books was that the authors made their women independent. They kind of deviated from expectations that were placed on them at that time, and they didn't want to be like the normal people. Um, so as a society, um, expectations for women have changed tremendously. From then, we now have more job opportunities with higher pay, and we're like not expected to stay at home and take care of the kids as much as before. So I really enjoyed learning all this stuff. I hope that you guys um, enjoyed learning about it too. Um, as a side note, I was really surprised at how similar the poor women were to the richer women. Like both of their expectations were still like to find men and get married and stuff like that. So yeah.